Hi, I'm Radio Silence, and you're watching Subpixel. That's right, we goofed the stream right before we started, but we're okay. Hi, boys, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? It's, it's going good. well. Just, we're here on Wells Fargo talk, folks. We crazy <laughs> stuff. Just crazy stuff. This is Wells Fargo podcast. <laughs> um, I am trying to look up. I found a crazy runway in the Flight Sim Reddit the other day, and it looked real bonkers and i'm trying to refine it but in the meantime uh zachariah crispers how's your mm -hmm. how's your pippers i don't know what pippers is um william can I just say something I'm, I'm looking at the world map here hello everyone i'll introduce myself mm -hmm. but i noticed a cool thing on the world map if you switch it to nighttime over cairo you can see all the lights following the nile all the way down. That's and pretty it's like cool. Really cool. Um, anyways, just a fun Microsoft Simulator fact. You can only get here on subpixelfilms.com <laughs> forward slash. What's papers? Um, I don't. I don't know. Zach, I was just trying to move away. From Let's that. kick it off to here. Uh, We're playing also, Microsoft's hi, Flit Mom. Simulators. She's not in chat, but she commented in our family group about our outfits on the Vietnam uh, uh -oh. stream. <laughs> yeah. And it made me think, let oh. it in, curse up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> she only watches the first five minutes of the yeah. stream anyways. So oh, great job. You didn't skip it. You're, you're at six yeah. minutes. <laughs> she didn't see the part where I got ambushed and said a lot of bad words. <laughs> I rewatched that just a couple, little, couple minutes ago of you shooting Ian in the head. <laughs> I didn't did. clip that. I haven't seen it from your perspective yet. I just like I. It's I'm just pretty so sure it's Both our faults because I'm shooting past you and I, you just walk right. In front okay, of me. I. Uh, but <laughs> I, I will take five percent of that. But you were so far behind us shooting between two people that it's like, what do you think is gonna happen, buddy? And, well, the and he's also shooting between two trees at nothing. <laughs> just sitting at where he thinks something is and then uh, you can see you Ian walking in front like you could see him on the side of the tree behind the tree shoot in the head yeah because yeah, you walked behind the tr tree I was also zoomed in the whole time so I know I could see where you guys were. okay that's that's a little fair yeah I was uh, I was behind like mediocre cover and there was a really good cover right yeah. next to me so I shifted I think it was a perfect storm of you getting shot in the head Oh man, Arma's good. That Vietnam mod, I think, is the best time I've had playing that game. That was really fun. It's it's good stuff. Oh, um, I had an idea. I, I don't know if you already had this idea. So I know you said the crazy runway thing, but we should go check out the hurricane. Yeah, maybe we start off with that. Well, no, let's start off in Chicago. You know what? Do you remember in in the original? I don't think it was the. It may have been the original. A lot of the early flight simulators always had that Chicago that airport that's on the water as like the default airport. And I haven't seen that yet. So let's do that. I'm at Chicago. But yeah, Sorry, but I think, but what if we try and land there? Cause I think it's a golf course now. Yeah, it's some sort of uh, park. So um, I am, I'm at Chicago. There's a, there's a point called Chicago on the Southwestern shore. <laughs> of whatever yeah. lake that is. What lake is that? Michigan. Uh, Illinois. Is it? I think it's Lake Michigan. Is no, it? it's a great lake. Isn't Lake Michigan a great lake? Oh, Probably it is. Great. It is. I was thinking of, I was thinking of the acronym, which the correct acronym is Holmes, but I was thinking of house. And I was like, there's no M in house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lake Urchin. <laughs> I think you're right. I think it is Michigan. <laughs> I could be wrong. I, I don't think it's Huron. I don't think I, it's I Ohio. I only say Lake Michigan because there's a Michigan city. It's not Erie. It's not. I know Superior is the real big one. What do you? Chicago approach Diamond Alpha Sierra. Golf Sierra is type diamond. Uh, I went to Lidl. You. I went to Lidl. Oh, Spot Town's here. 
Hi, baby boy. Hi. Anyways, Lidl is a German uh, grocery chain. And they have a bakery section that has really good um, soft pretzels. So I got some soft pretzels. Oh, I see it. Sorry, I, I took off tomorrow work just because and like it's not a big vacation but as soon as like 4 30 rolled around today i was immediately in vacation mode where it's just like do whatever you want <laughs> i have no responsibilities so like my normal thing which is like set up the stream early make sure everything's working eat your food drink your water i'm like i don't care i'm on vacation um splat town we are in chicago trying to land at this old airport you said it's mixfield zach is that what it was called yeah m-e-i-g-s um but we are taking requests from the chat we're specifically looking yeah. for crazy runways i can't find the one that was on um reddit the other day chicago approach diamond alpha sierra x-ray golf sierra um i just get bad, bad anxiety before we have streams so i can't do anything else but think about the stream that's coming up Oh, you get bad anxiety? I'm, like, real chill with it now. Now, I get, like, oh, I can't be... Because I'm a person who can never be late to anything. Oh. Like, I get... Same. Oh, I, I hate being late. My roommate, or my former roommate, George, picks me up for work every day. It's always like, yeah, I'll be there whenever. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like... <gasps> um, but, yeah, Karen and I were watching TV before this, and I kept checking my phone. It was, like, oh. only, like, 8.15 when the episode ended. But I was like, oh, we're good. I do that too, and I, I hate it when I start to just not watch because I'm like constantly checking. Yeah. Okay, come on. Come I'm on. slowly discovering other what other buttons do on my uh, thing, my uh, Hotas. I can control the flaps with some other stuff. I landed. Yeah, I've no, I, I can't. Can't are, see you. Are you guys at least in Chicago? Yeah, yeah. I can see you, except, except it's nighttime. Oh, really? Because I changed it. Anyways, uh, yep. so let's. Um, I wish I could spectate you guys. If y'all give me two seconds, I'm gonna look up landing. Okay, let's see. Micro, Microsoft flight, Microsoft flight. Simulator. Flight simulator cliff landing. Okay. Grand Canyon, been there. Boys, I found it. I'm gonna exit out. I suggest you do the same as well. We had a lot of fun last stream on Saturday at that airport. That was a lot of fun. Uh, that was a good time. I mean, the I first it. half of the stream, when it was just me, much better. But the second half, still tolerable. Okay, V N L K. I'm still, uh, still loading. Ooh, Charlie says, uh, Court Cheval, I don't know if you guys have taken off. There's a training one there. That one's pretty crazy, but we should totally. Sorry, what was it? V-N-L-K? V-N-L-K. When it's daytime there. Cool. Yeah, we'll do Mount Fuji. Oh, Mount oh, Fuji. I wanted to fly near Mount Fuji. Oh, we should fly over Tokyo. Yeah. This game is taxing my system. What's it called? Oneida? Yeah. O Oneida? That's the airport, right? Tokyo. Um, I actually don't know. Can you give me the uh, V S? V N L K F U. Oh, Lukla. Okay. I set everything back to live because I think it's daytime over there. Are we in a group? 
I think so. We are not in a group. Yeah. I Wait. was in a group with Ian. Oh, someone invite me to a group then. That's uh, weird, because I send... I'm in... Well, let's not worry too much about it. I'll send you an invite. Even when we have everything set up properly, this multiplayer still doesn't work great. So... Yeah. I'm in Lukla, and it is dark as all hail. Wait, is it really? It's supposed to be like 6.54 a.m. over there. It's dark. It's foggy, at least. I don't know if that's... Oh, no, it's not it. It's not dark, it's foggy. Dumbass. I mean... <laughs> what do you mean, dumbass? It's extremely dark <laughs> no, and it's not. foggy. And it says it at the bottom of the screen that it's 6.56 a.m. Okay, 6.56 a.m. is still pretty early. Not in the summertime. All right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and change the weather so it's not foggy. <laughs> Thank you. It's dark. What do you... It's... It, never mind. I hate arguing with you. You're so annoying. No, this is a funny argument because you're clear... Because one no, of us is clearly wrong. I'm not... It can be light out and foggy at the same time. <laughs> I don't understand this. Oh, I love it's it. Be, the sun's not even on us when you just remove the fog. God. The um. Okay, I'm gonna send the you back. another invite, Zacky boy, and then I'm gonna change this to. Okay. Wow, it's nighttime for me. I hate you. It's gonna be clear skies. I'll make it noon time. Noon time, clear skies. Oh, thank you. Oh, almost hit a mountain. Okay, here we go. Okay, invite me to the group again. I did. For you. Yeah, it didn't get to me. Uh, probably maybe I'm in a group, that's why. Whatever. I need to change planes. I ended up in a seven four. Why am I stolen? Oh, Charlie, I didn't do all players because um, if you do all players, I don't think you can change the weather. Let me double check yeah, that the cool. next time out. Yeah. No, you're right. So this is look up, people. It is a downward sloping runway. Very short, very intense. I think you can get a jumbo jet off it. That's what, that's what I'm in right now. You know, I also saw somebody use the reverse thrust. Like, they just threw on reverse thrust and it actually worked. For me, it's like this weird toggle that doesn't seem to work properly. Here we go. Let's see if I can take off. Oh, no. I bumped my wing on the terrain on takeoff, and I wasn't moved. I wasn't moving left or right. Oh no, guys! I don't think I can do a jumbo jet off of here. Huh. Is there, is there a quick? Oh yeah, there is a quick restart. If I hit the home button, let's try that again, folks. Coming in. Look at the soft pretzels, so good. Oh wow, mm -hmm. so dark. Watch it, Will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's your favorite stupid argument of ours? I think it's the Sea of Thieves one. That one's real good. <laughs> that one's just the... That one's I'm just sorry, like... I said it was dark when I was in the shadows and it was fall. I like the Sea of Thieves one because, like, we were so mad at each other, but there were two other parties who were clearly more at fault than either of us. <laughs> well, like, you were justifiably mad because you, in your head, thought I was the one looking out. And you as and well. And you missed me say the other thing, and I thought you had heard me say the map thing, so it was, like, a whole big thing. And I was downstairs looking at the map. <laughs> Guys, look, it's I Maggie. She's trying not to be on camera. What are you doing down there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
was incredible. Uh, who's nagging again? You know what we should do? We should try to get. The, we should try and land on Everest. Ooh. I'm sorry, can you pronounce that again? Everest. We should try to land on Everest. <laughs> he just said it in like such a mountaineer voice. Hold um, throttle Everest. reverse thrust. The secrets of Everest. The lost ink and gold of Everest. I know it's not near Inca. The country of Inca. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I gotta come up here and turn around because I landed. So can only one plane take off or land? Do you mean in real life or in the game? In real life. Yeah. I didn't know if well, like, one could land under the other one taking off. Well, <laughs> Zach, you're on my side with this, right? Okay, all right. Come on. You guys can't take a joke. I, you're... I understood Will was going for a joke. Well, one plane can't land on another plane taking off? Be crazy. You're crazy. How do I reverse throw? Someone tell me. For me, it's. I, I know what the button is, and so if you do the third person camera in the lower left on your engine rev, it'll say REV when you're in reverse mode, and I've gotten it to toggle for a second once. But that's it. I don't even. I can't even find it in the control. It's called hold toggle reverse thrust, I think. I'm stuck. Okay, let's take off from a real. Oh, don't worry. I have toggle anti ice. Take off with this diamond. Okay, so after this, we're going to do um, Korcheval, then we're going to do Mount Fuji, then we're going to do Everest, right? Yep. Guys, never tells you that like our streams are good. We just need more people to watch them. Oh, our streams are yeah. amazing. I feel like I saw. Will, did you see that clip from the giant bomb cast the other day, where Alex Navarro was talking about how his girlfriend uses Animal Crossing? And you hear her off stream all of a sudden say, oh, yeah. are you talking about me? And I was like, we've done, I was like, that's a really good moment, but we've done that so many times. Like, <laughs> like we're just yeah, as like, good at that content. I think he, he had said she didn't care about like the time traveling stuff. And she said, are you talking smack about me? Yeah. <laughs> or she said, I heard you were talking smack about me. It was pretty good. Here we go, Poison. Oh, there's brakes and parking brakes. Yes. Ah, uh, that. You know, it all comes full. Oh, this is this is kind of terrifying in first person, where you spawn in and you start going down the runway and all of a sudden it goes downhill. That's terrifying. Yeah. I wasn't getting that with the jumbo. It was like too big. Oh, oh boys, I took off. Don't sink. Don't sink. Do you guys ever go to the uh, Don't sink. Don't sink. all Don't sink. controls? Don't the ones that aren't set. Yes. That's a thing I didn't know about. Boy, he's got a lot. All the different anti-ices. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, that's a crash. Oh. Come on. Woo. Yeah, Charlie, I, I had the flaps. It was just I was going way too fast. Oh, that's hilarious. This, this runway is so steep that at full thrust, I can't go up it while I'm parked. Oh, I got reverse thrust working, I think. That one. I'm still gonna do it, guys. 
Oh, so the hold is you have to hold the button down, and then toggle is you have to toggle. Nice. Yeah. Okay, let me try one more time, then we're gonna go to uh, Vault. Okay, let me see if this works. Client save. Oh, and wow, I can't get up here either. I know, right? It's crazy. Actually, that makes it even more difficult because you can't just land. You have to maintain enough speed from your landing to maintain taxi all the way up to parking. Yeah. That's bonkers. Where did you say it says reverse? Um, on your engines, but uh, it didn't. It only did it on the airliner for me. It doesn't do it on the small plane. Yeah, some planes... <clears throat> I would say smaller planes may not have the ability. No, I, s I see reverse thrust all over the place. <clears throat> Sorry, I have milkshake in my throat. Yeah. This game has some weird sure. bugs. Like sometimes when you can't move, when you spawn in, you can't move. Mm. Have you tried adjusting your parking brake to off? Got him. Yeah, gotcha. Wow. <laughs> He's speechless. I played some um, no. Arma World War II today. There's a lot of stuff with World War II. It's pretty great. Oh, Charlie says only jets and turboprops have reverse thrust. That's smart. Uh... I'm a prop and I want reverse thrust. Wow. What's a turbo prop? Which one's the turbo prop? It's called turbo prop. It's in the category of engines oh, called oh, turbo okay. prop. No, I just didn't know. But thanks for being a jerk about it. Hey, <laughs> anytime. I'm so excited that. Every time I was landing, I was letting go of the joystick to hit the parking brake. <laughs> so now, now I know there's just a brake button. Pretty, pretty exciting. Pretty liberating, I would say. Liberace. I wonder how fast you can get and then brake and not fall off the bottom of the runway. Ooh, Splatoon's asking about COD Cold War. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, what do you guys think? It looked uh, interesting. Uh, Ronald Reagan certainly uh, quite a surprise. I think I'm going to play it just because it has Ronald Reagan in it. Yeah, I just only, find that so funny. Some of my favorite things were like that people were making fun of was they, they confirmed that they only used, which I guess is good in this certain situations, they only use non binary pronouns. Someone's like, oh, great, Ronald Reagan can <laughs> use and, my uh, pronouns, use the correct pronouns, and, and support trans rights in this God Cold War game. <laughs> It's like what a what historical accuracy. Uh, oh no, I'm so close to getting Oh, I didn't make it. Anyways, well, when Fox... I first saw the trailer, I was like, I wonder if Fox News is trying to buy the model so he can host his own show. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's transition to uh Corteval. I, I saw somebody else being like who they were like They were like, Wow, it's so progressive of you to let us use our preferred pronouns while committing war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh it plus the other thing is that you know what it does look like a very good looking polished triple a game during a console launch and if i if yeah. i will get a console at launch which is just it's basically just if i'm gonna get the series x at launch or not yeah i'm tempted to get that i think i will just to like but did you see it's it's 70 for new consoles 
No, I thought it was only 70 for cross-generation. Yeah, but this, that's the only way to buy it. Oh. For new consoles. Oh, no, wait. I thought it was... I thought you could buy it digitally and it's 60. Uh, uh, I, that might sure. be right. I, I only saw the initial Wario 64, like, analysis of it. All right. Um, L, F, L, J. Oop, that's G. L, F, L, J. Hey, you want to show... Sammy, invite to your group right oh, before... I turbo. I, I have been sending you an invite. Oh, I'm talking about Will. I'm seeing if Will can do it. Oh, sure. oh you know what? You know what I think it is? Zach, you sent me. I think it's a lot of yeah. Zach sent me a lot of invites, and I think that's what's clogging it. I Jeez. also can't clear them. Okay, <laughs> I, I just keep hitting reject. I sent the invite, Zach. Okay. Zach, how many did you send? I didn't send a ton. Oh, I, I <laughs> just keeps popping back up. Oh, now I'm. Now Ian, can you, Ian, can you invite me to the group? You are in my group. Oh, now what? you're gone. What? No, I'm not. You just left. Oh, okay. Invite group. Invite to group. Both invites sent. Only this game. Yeah, it's definitely botched. Okay, I'm back. Daddy's back. Daddy's back. Okay. Let's take off here. Uh, let's do the stunt plane, because it's fun. Let's do this. The stunt plane is terrifying. The red one. Mm-hmm. Zach, are you, are you in the group, or? Ed, Ed didn't ever send me an invite. That's so <laughs> weird. I think multiplayer's broken. Um, ooh, Charlie says in a turboprop, by contrast, exhaust is the primary product. It spins turbines that in turn drive gears spinning their propeller to generate thrust. Um, yeah, that kind of makes sense, a turboprop, because turbos typically run by exhaust. I don't tell Maggie, yeah, I keep looking at cars on Facebook. Um, that, I don't need them, I don't have any space for them. But a regular length runway. What'd you guys start out here? Hmm? Storm, throw the cars out in Utah. I mean, like, a car that is not running and needs, like, several years of restoration to work properly. Oh, perfect. I got a garage. Don't say that. Do it. I wanted to. Uh. I've always wanted to, like, rebuild an engine. It would probably be the worst thing ever, but... No, that's not that bad. I, I haven't done an engine rebuild, but I've taken an engine part and done, like, a top-end rebuild. It's not that bad. It's just a lot of, like, specialty tools. Yeah. And it's a lot of, like, money put into it. And the whole time you're like, did I, make a, did I scratch a sleeve, a bearing sleeve or something? And then finally you're like, okay, let me put it in the, let me put it in the car, see if I, see if it actually works. You know, I think that's what gets me is like the anxiety over like, I made a mistake, and it may not show up for twenty thousand miles, but at twenty thousand miles, it's going to be catastrophic. Yeah. So, but it's a great feeling. Like I did an engine swap, and like a top end rebuild, and then you put it in the car, and you like crank it without fuel and you're like am i getting oil pressure i'm like getting oil pressure all right turn it over and this engine had run for like at least four or five years it was from like from a junkyard in japan and it was like turn over and started running it and it was like yes it's working it's working <laughs> yeah Tight reference, guys. <gasps> Splat Town, hot question. What do you guys think of the new hmm. Bateman? It's the new <clears throat> Patrick Bateman. Jason? Oh, maybe it is Jason. Um, so I didn't mind about Robert Pattinson being Batman, and I don't mind Robert Pattinson being Batman, but that trailer did not make me excited for a new yeah. Yeah. revamp of Batman. 
that that it just looked like a remake of every other Batman movie, but one where they forgot to bring half the studio lights because it was such a like literally dark trailer and there was nothing new or exciting in it. And it was just like, oh, OK, I guess it's yeah. a Batman even movie. Batman, yeah, even Batman being like fierce was like, uh, yeah, it, oh, yeah. Well, of course, that's the next step is to make him actually be a badass. Yeah, but I didn't even see it. Didn't that didn't really come through that much in the trailer anyways. It was just like, oh, it's just Batman yeah. doing Batman things. Yeah, exactly. So. Oh, Zach, I see you. I see you. Oh, I see Zach. Oh, and I see Will. I, I think I took off at the wrong end of the runway. Yeah, you definitely did. Yeah, let me know if you get in the air. I think I'm gonna have to turn around. Tented terror over here is having a rough day. Oh no! Oh, that's awesome. That is. Um, I went so slow that I was already at stall speed. I feel like this doesn't really happen in other flight sims. I got so slow that I felt and saw the transition of my airplane from being a glider into a rock. Like it was just immediately like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> And that the the like flight and aerodynamic simulation in this feels really good. Like it feels what, uh, realistic. Where are we? I, I didn't see. Courcheva. Uh, where in the world is France? France. Yeah, southern oh, France. Cool. Thank you. I, I think this yeah. is right near the the Alps, French Alps. I've been playing a lot of GeoGuessr, and it's really been helping with um, like knowing what countries exist in the world. <laughs> Or like okay. what areas? Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a lot of like Asian countries, or like, like Eastern I European. Never realized, like I, I'm not, I'm using this as an example, but like if someone says like Bangladesh, half the time I'm like, oh, that's a city, not a like, I hate country this. I hate this full plan. of people. Or uh, like there's a lot of like Philippines countries and like areas that I don't really think about. And then also, Africa looks like South America half the time. Like, yeah. you just have to, like, it really comes down to, like, finding, like, signs. And then anything in Cyrillic is either Russia, Ukraine, or Belarus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's fun, though. But, yeah. Countries, man. It's like, I think I looked it up. There's 193 countries that are part of the <laughs> UN, uh, UN. Why are you laughing? I, I looked it up. There's countries. You know, I looked it up. There's 193 of them. <laughs> no, it's just crazy you know. when you think about it. Could you name 193 countries? Oh, Charlie's got another hot um, factoid. Did you know you have to have a special license called a mountain wheeling license to land at airports? Like Courcheval and Lukla, that makes sense because they are not flat runways, and that really screws and, you up. And I think he he wrote airports, uh, Alta ports sound like a real thing. Not Alta like ports. ports. That's that does sound cool. If that's a real thing, I'm gonna be super excited. That that's a real word. Do the brakes work when I'm flying? Who? Yes. <laughs> Just turns into air brakes. Uh, yeah, I, I need to do more traveling, but uh, this whole coronavirus thing is making it real hard. Yeah, I saw I saw flights from Philadelphia to Tokyo for three hundred dollars the other day, round trip. Yeah, that's the uh, airline saying. Yeah. Like all these crazy deals I've been seeing that are I, I usually see pretty good deals, but normally those flights only go down to like four or five hundred dollars when I see them on sale. I've never seen them that low. And that was bonkers. There was a flight I found from JFK to Orlando for thirteen dollars. Jeez. And I was like That's tempting. Eh, I should just do that and fly to Orlando and fly back, but not worth it. That's that's barely more than when I fly with points with Southwest we have to pay five dollars per flight just for like the 911 taxes so 13 dollars is like basically eight dollars for the airline <laughs> i landed 
Yeah, I keep, I keep thinking like wanting to check flights to Iceland. Yeah, me too. Problem is, um, Wow Air went bankrupt, so they're mostly like, they're not quite as cheap as they were before. They're, they're like around 400, whereas before they would go down to 250 every now and then. Guys, I landed at Gorchava, legitimately. I know. Nice. I was right behind you, and I did not land up upside down. I wonder, like, would do you use less brakes because you're flying up? So you, you probably need more gas once you hit just yes. the, the runway. Yeah, definitely. Oops, that's the wrong button. Gotta be something. I, I mean, that makes sense. You would need a different license. Uh, yeah. Because you have to, like, learn. I feel like you have to unlearn half the things about landing. Plus, uh, um, plus you got, like, you know, at altitude, you've got a different air fuel ratio. And so, some airplanes handle that automatically. Some of them don't. Ooh. So, Charlie, the problem with uh, Ryanair is... Um, we don't get a lot of those over in the U.S. for cheap flights, but I, I think the flight I was looking at was, I think it was a Japanese airline that was doing it for 300 bucks. Let me give you a hot tip. I'm only going to say this hot tip because nobody watches these streams. Scottscheapflights.com. You sign up for the mailing list. It's free. There's a free and a premium. And they will, and you say which airports you want to fly out of, and they will send you deals all the time. I have flown to Paris from uh, I've flown to Paris from Baltimore for $360 round trip and I've flown from DC to Munich for $360 round trip and there's nothing crazy about it it's just a normal economy flight no check bags, check bags are extra for you, extra uh, okay, I landed again, but it's going a little too bit too fast. Oh, I'm going too fast. I gotta abort. All right, folks, I think it's time to go to Mount Fuji. Um, I agree. Yeah. So if you if you are interested, definitely Scott's Scott's cheap flights. They do they do really good deals all the time. I've seen ones from like Baltimore to Hawaii for like 300 bucks. A lot of good stuff. Um, oh. What am I doing? Oh, Fuji. So I have flown to Mount Fuji. Um, and we were going to go visit it. But there was actually a typhoon that came through. And they were all out of rental cars. So we couldn't go see it. So we just spent the night. We spent like an extra 16 hours in the airport. Instead of driving out to see the Mount Fuji. I thought you were going to say the typhoon destroyed Mount Fuji. Uh, where is Mount Fuji in relation to Tokyo? <laughs> in relation not, to Japan. I'm, not just, I'm, I'm trying to look it up. Fuji. Isn't it near... Don't they always go to it when they're doing... Um, Suzuka? Let's see if I can find it that way. Yeah, Charlie, oh, if, yeah, if you want to fly it. with us. What's it? What's it called? Uh, uh, R G R J G O is the nearest airport. R J G O. Yes. Got it. Kotumba. Kotumba. I'm Enjoy going to. <laughs> yeah, one second. I, if I can invite you. Um. Yeah, Charlie. If you uh, put your Microsoft, your Xbox, whatever your Microsoft account name is, I'll I'll invite you to the group. Jolly. I'll add you as a friend. Okay, I sent the invite, Zach. Okay. Yeah, I sent you one too. Weird. Why do I not get invites? Yeah, weird. We're really sending them. Oh, weird. What's happening? Okay. I really like this. It's like the slowest of the turbo props. I really like it. 
the best part about uh, when this game loads, I see you and Ian talking, and I never get the audio because it's lost to the ether. <laughs> yeah. While it's loading? Yeah. Wow. I think it, like, I, I hear the music just fine. I just never get what you, I get, like, the tail end of what you say when it finishes loading. Hey, any of you watched that uh, Gamescom opening night live thing today? I watched just about half of it at work. Yeah, I think I watched all of it. Uh, I don't think there was a lot of really interesting stuff in it. I, I think the Ratchet and Clank still looks really good as a next-gen demo. It looked really... The loading looked really bad was my only thing. Oh, yeah, that loading... I don't know if that Every was in the original film. Every time they went through a thing, it, like, hitched for half a second. Well, I don't... It wasn't even, like, a hitch for half a second. It was just, like, like there's, like, a, a, a couple-second-long transition zone that you're just, like, slowly floating through, and then you load in. Still impressive, right. but not quite as impressive. But but every time they like a, the half second they after going through either the purple or the orange portals, the whole thing froze and you could see the floor load in really fast. Oh, really? See, I the stream yeah. I was watching was having like bad, like chunky issues anyway. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to notice that. Yeah, I should I should go back and see if I can watch it. Why do I? Why do I feel like this is not an airport, but just a road in a business park? <laughs> oh no, I took off too early. Oh, yeah, Doom Eternal. Oh, yeah, I found... People... Sorry. People were very upset there was no Elden Ring. Yeah, those people need to calm down. So directly also, to the... everyone was like, Sekiro came out last year. Yeah. Directly to the west of the airport is Mount Fuji. Aye. It's weird they still speak English here. Aye. Oh, are you saying ATC? Yeah. Yeah, I think ATC Worldwide use English. Oh, I, I think that uh, Charlie can uh, attest to that. Is that a racial slur for the Vietnamese? No, that is a Charlie Pin... <laughs> I don't know how to say his last name. You know what? I'm, I'm allowed to say that because we were in Vietnam the other day, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean it's top. I, not that I'm allowed to say it, but it's topical. <laughs> topical. <laughs> topical joke. <laughs> look, I just don't like the look of them. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Listen, I have a friend who's friends with a Vietnamese guy. I can say it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, what if we just stop streaming and watch Shin Godzilla instead? Oh, that would be so good. And I'm struggling. <gasps> Guys, I just realized if you're in cockpit view and you move your throttle like quickly back and forth, you can hear him adjust it. Like you hear it sliding and clicking. That's so cool. speeds too low. Pinson S. Pinson S. Pinson S. Um, William? Yes. We've talked about it before, but guess what I did today? Um. <laughs> well, uh, uh, what'd you do, what'd you do today? <laughs> I finally did it. I bought an airbrush. I don't know when it's getting here, oh, but I bought nice. one. Yeah. Proud of you. I almost bought a. Uh, speaking of things we've been meaning to buy, I almost bought a racing wheel. But I decided oh, it. really? I. You know, it's you funny. Tried? I have not touched my wheel or done any racing since the the endurance race I did. Like it just. I'm gonna go back, but it just it wore me out. You know. Yeah. It was, was that oof. that Logitech. Is it 920 or 960 or whatever? Yeah, that was pretty good. It was it was down to like two sixty something, and I was oh, like, eh. "That is a good deal." Yeah, that's a good deal. 
buy it. Like, do I play $260 worth of Euro Truck? No. No. <laughs> that's why uh, you can't do it right now because of COVID, but that's why when I did my GameStop thing, I was like, I'm not going to spend $300 on a racing wheel, but I'll trade in a bunch of stuff and spend 60 bucks on it, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's actually what I'm thinking. I have my Xbox One still. And yeah. I was like, oh, when that Series X comes out, I should see if there's like trade in your Xbox One. Yeah, or even and then I'll just give them that. you already sold it, but you could have done your Switch. You could have just done the mental math of like, oh, I'll yeah. sell this Switch and that'll cover the cost of the wheel, you know, things like that. Yeah, there was like I was pretty much holding on to that because of that sort of stuff. But it was only my friend I had offered to it before it changed their minds. So. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, definitely I have I have like a pile of games and that Xbox One that are like, oh, I, like I could trade these games. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't miss them. That's what I did with the airbrush. So I was able to basically get the airbrush and a compressor and all the accessories for, like, 180, I think, total. Maybe, or 170. Because I, I didn't realize Harbor Freight has airbrush compressors. And they have, like, oh, yeah. they have like 25% off coupons all the time. And it's just a compressor. Oh, and, the, and, and the people's reviews were just like, it's a compressor. It works. <laughs> like, it's perfectly fine. So yeah. I... Whereas, like, normal airbrush compressors are, like, 100, 150 bucks. The Harbor Freight one was, like, 55 or 60 after coupon. Mm -hmm. So I, I did the... Yeah, yeah, so I did the mental math of, um... My, my parents are moving soon. And so my father has a 30 by 40 foot workshop with a, a car lift that I put in there. But he also has all of my Miata parts and, like, my engine lift and my engine stand and all these, like stuff that they were basically like hey you need to get rid of this in the next three months so i've been selling that stuff off and giving getting like a couple hundred bucks in cash and i was like hey what if i just use this cash and turn around and buy an airbrush so hmm. yeah I'm, I'm waiting to like expand like i want to get a new monitor and like monitor arms and then some <laughs> other stuff but i'm just waiting until i move into a bigger apartment yeah because your place is a lot like i i wasn't even sure if i would have enough room for the airbrush because i still need to be able to collapse it and store it but i think i'm gonna be able to make it work because i also bought more expensive than the compressor and more expensive than the airbrush was a hundred dollar spray booth which comes with like a fan and a vent and a filter so basically it's like a like a 12 inch by 18 inch opening and you spray into it and it sucks sucks away all the fumes and stuff um but that that's kind of the only way i'm making it work in my condo by knowing that i have that and I don't have to worry about overspray or the fumes or anything like that. That makes sense. Are you guys? Picked the wrong plane to fly up this mountain. Yeah, I'm. I'm very yeah. slowly going up, but I'm. I'm like circling around it, slowly going up, because if I go up any faster, I stall. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing, but I. It's funny I can't see you guys, but I see a whole bunch of people hanging oh. out. I got nobody. Uh oh. Back froze. Yep. And now he's I'm back. Ba I'm back. Can you hear me? Yeah. This is like, I think OBS and this. I, this is the first time I've done flight sim with uh, the webcam. It is oh. taxing my system. I wonder if I can change my OBS. Yeah. My setting. flight system is down uh, to. Oh no. I'm at the top, but I'm stalling. My uh, flight simulator is on medium. It's still shrugs. Yeah, I, I tend to put mine down to low for the uh, stream. Oh, no. oh, I'm stalling so much. Yeah, there there is no graphics card on the market that can run this game at 4K60. At ultra 4K60. Which is the, They awesome. said the 390s will have 24 gigs of RAM. Yeah, yeah they're going to have 24 gigs of RAM. That's the rumor. It's not quite confirmed yet. But the other thing is the rumor is the price is going to be $1,400 which is way too much i was thinking if it was a thousand i may do it but if it's 1400 it's too much which basically leaves me with the the 3080 which is going to be only like 10 or 11 gigs of ram and it's like i think it's either seven or eight hundred bucks which is it's oh, still no. it's still a great oh. card but i can't believe 1400 dollars, 24 gigs of ram it's bonkers I got to the top of Mount Fuji, and I had to dive the plane in 
Oh no. <laughs> and I couldn't pull back out, so I just smashed. Oh, I can see the staircase that you have to climb to get to the top of it. Do you guys see that on the eastern face of it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. That is awesome. I think there's staircases all around it, because I can see different little... Different ones? Switchbacks, yeah. Yeah, so for the stream, this is what I'm talking about. This, So this is the road to get up here. And then you take this here. That's cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Last name is pronounced Pinson. Wait, oh, I gotta read this now. The Pins. S is like the last two letters in sentence. Pinsense? Pinsense. Pinsense. Oh, that Pinsense. makes sense. Pinsense. Pinsense. I like Pinsense. that. Pinsense. It's a nice name. It's like the Pirates of Pinsense. Pinsense. Oh. Uh, so, anyways, Chris Pinsense. Um, <laughs> Chucky, Chucky Crispin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chucky Pipers. I'm curious, Charlie, oh, are you. Are you in the uh, aviation field as a pilot or like a, a grounds worker? You got a lot of a lot of knowledge. You a janitor? You janitor? Grounds keep. <laughs> Do you clean up planes, excrement? Don't disrespect the boys. Do planes poop? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, are Here's there question? Are there buildings I like at the top? Dumb of question. Just to see Ian's face go like. Are there, are there actually buildings at the top of Mount Fuji, or is that just like a I, rent? That's what I was gonna ask. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look at I, the satellite. I'm gonna say there, there probably is at least like one building, like a hut or a weather station. That's gonna be my guess, because they have that yeah. in the Alps all the time. Yeah, there's we, probably one. We went oh, to. Oh, there's definitely buildings up there. Oh, like what are they? Um, what is? Because these look like. Almost office buildings. They look a little weird. Let me get closer. It's like monasteries up there. Oh, that's awesome. Because when we were uh, in Austria at Innsbruck, we took the cable car to the top of Innsbruck, which was like, I think it was like 8,500, 8,700 feet up. And they had a little restaurant up there, which was awesome. We, so we stopped there and we had soup because it was like zero degrees outside and 60 mile per hour winds. So we you ever come freezing. down from high altitude and you're like, the air is definitely thicker down here? No. no. I get that sometimes, like, after I go to Utah, after coming down from is Alexander. How much higher up is Alexander? Uh, Alex is at 9,000 feet and I'm at 4,200 feet. Wow. So you, like, come back down and it's a quick descent and ascent, ascent and descent. And, uh,. You can like feel the change in the air. Wow, you also those... drive with chip bags and they like expand as you drive up. Oh yeah. Th those, they, it really is like office buildings at the top. That's crazy. <laughs> Hello, can we do your taxes? Yeah, I made it, made it all the way to the top guys. Yeah, I, I landed down in the caldera. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, I crashed. I mean, I landed <laughs> in there. Try to take off now. From the caldera. Yeah. Isn't it steep? It is real steep. I've got to scrub some speed. I'm going to try and land on the rim. I'm kind of I like try... You should go to Everest now. Yeah. yeah, I think we need, we're going to need uh, different airplanes for that. Yeah. Maybe the 29,000 feet. That really fast jet? Yeah. And then we can go to the other world's tallest mountain. The one in, uh, where is it? Do you know who I'm talking about, Zach? The Ecuador one? Did they ever do the Ecuador trips at high school when you were there? The science teacher? What was his name? Gyra? Not Gyra. It's Gyra, Will. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, I actually did a really good landing. Oh, that was so good, guys. I'm pretty sure it's right That was I'm incredible. Very proud of you. Incredible. I like. I I basically had to go to like a thirty degree roll, 
around the rim until I got slow enough that I could finally level it out and touch down and, and just do enough breaks to be fine. That's awesome. Shall we go to Everest? Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to find it right now. Okay. Um, the, the, anyways, the, my point in my story is there's a mountain in Ecuador that is technically taller than Mount Everest because it's on the equator where the Earth is an oblong spheroid. So it's technically higher. What did you the, just it's, call me? it's farther from the core than... Great movie. Than, oh, oh, great yeah. movie, Aaron Eckhart. It's farther from the center so of the good. Earth to the top of the mountain than it is from the center of the Earth to the top of Everest. Because the Earth is a squished sphere. Bulges around the sides. I wish you could show boundaries. You know what I mean? I wish there were more map options, like show me topography. Show me state borders. Yeah. Is it? So it's just north of Lukla. Oh, really? Yeah. So if you, you look, if you zoom into Lukla and you see there's an airport just above it, uh, called, uh, uh, VNSB, that one uh, dot that's right above it. Oh, if you wait, V. Wait, sorry. I think I, I think I said it as a custom. So the dot above VNLK. Yeah, I wouldn't start at that airport. That seems like a really short one too. I would start in the air. Um, but it's 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 in this general area. This general area could also be hundreds of thousands of feet or miles, but. Well, it says that altitude's only. Oh, I guess that's my custom altitude. Oh, I see. I see a bunch of people flying northeast of Lukla, circling. Yeah. I'm gonna, what, st uh, I'm gonna what start jet there. Are we the... I think I'm just gonna take the nor the one jet, not the airliner. The oh, the Cesta Citation. Yeah. Cit and I'm going to spawn on those people to the northeast. Oh, that's, yeah, that's exactly where, where it is. Yeah, I don't see, I don't have people anymore. Should. Only people. So basically, the anyone. distance, the distance between Lukla and the dot to the north, then take that from the dot to the northeast. And just double gotcha. click there and you'll get a custom departure. Okay. I'm at 27,000 feet right now. Has, uh, this is only a uh, humble brag for me. Well, it's only... Has it, You've climbed know Mount Everest? Does anyone know anyone that's climbed <laughs> Everest? No. I do know someone who's climbed... It's... it's met, I've met someone who's climbed... I, I had a, um, a professor in college who was into climbing, and he talked to people who did it. And I've also read some articles, and it just sounds like a really disgusting industry. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like $60,000. It's just like exploitative of the locals. They don't really clean up, so it's just like trashing the mountain. And the other thing is you can choose to take oxygen or not, but if you don't take oxygen... So my, my professor was a philosophy professor, and he said other professors went, and they didn't take oxygen. And they told him they're like... I know that I am stupider now because I was at such low oxygen for hours. Yo, yeah, you're in the death zone. You're basically dying. Yeah, and they were like, I know, I can, I, I can feel that I have lost brain cells because of that. That was a terrible decision. Yeah. Uh, I've got a buddy who's climbed Everest three or four times. Uh, for different Alpha, various Zero, like National Zero. Geographic or Discovery uh, shoots. That's crazy. And then, yeah, and I was so we had a big project that he was shooting footage for me, amongst other kind of things. He was shooting yeah. footage for me for a uh, it was a new theater production, new prototype like three screen theater, and yeah. so he was shooting stuff for me. And so he was there for a long time, long time, long time, and no word. And then uh, they talk about the uh, base camp, the avalanche of base camp, where it killed a bunch of people. Oh. And then I was like, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. And come to find out that he was up at camp three or four uh -huh. when that happened. And so they immediately, everyone just boogied down the mountain. And wow. he lost all the footage except for the what he had on the one card he had brought up to camp with him 
Yeah. And it was like, yeah. So he gave me the little hard drive with the footage on it, and um, I didn't realize he lost his hard drives. So this like a month later, he hands me all the stuff. And so I was going through it, and I was like, hey, is, is this just it? And I get like this sad text back, be like, yeah, man, everything else got lost in the, the avalanche. That's crazy. But yeah, he lost his entire sight. This plane yeah. is, it's hard to fly at this altitude because the air is so thin. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, welcome back, Charlie. The question we had for you while you were gone was if uh, if you're just a, uh, an enthusiast, aviation enthusiast, or if you have a job in the industry somehow. Oh no, what's that warning light saying? I think I just flew past Everest. Can you not see us, Will? Nope. Do you have live players on? Uh, I did. Can you but see anybody? I can't see anybody, which is weird. That is I could just see you guys in the other thing. Could but you I couldn't see you at Fuji. I could see you at that other place. I, I have to check the setting. I can't say. But I'm in Ian's group. Which yeah. is weird that I just can't see him. Yeah, I can see Ian. I think that was Everest I flew past. I've got this alarm going off, and I don't really know. It's not very descriptive. It just says it ITC. Might be the ice Or wear ox oxygen mask. Could be. <laughs> Just gonna start turning things off. First, I'm gonna set my altitude. Just yelled at me for over. And then I'm gonna over turn speed. on autopilot. Over speed. Over speed. Oh no, autopilot! What are you doing? Yeah, I think this is Everest right here. Yeah, yeah, I was flying by it. That's pretty cool. Where yeah, is, it is the? Oh, cockpit temp. Oh, it's inoperable. <laughs> Froze on. Oxygen control. Oh, I can't control it. Oxygen mask, inoperable. Oxygen supply. Wait, why is all this? Is there, is, can I turn on the player stuff in game or do I have to go back? What do you think happens if I press this button called cabin pressure dump? <gasps> I think you should do that. It means you're... It, Kevin pressures your girlfriend. You're trying to get rid of her. I dumped her. <laughs> I dumped. Am I? You're dying. What am if I still flying? God, uh, autopilot's awesome. Oh, now now I have cabin altitude and use oxygen mask. Okay, so let yep, me... I got that too. Man, now you both are on my map. I'm going to turn on my emergency brake. Okay. Um, I put cabin pressure back. Let's go to... Charlie, you're just like us. We are also enthusiasts. Except, well, he has a captain's license. <laughs> I wish. Um... I think my sister has one of those, but I don't think it means much. No, she just has, like, a boating license. A boating license. <laughs> Our dad's a captain. Do you... I don't think he has his captain's license anymore. I thought he kept it up because it was pretty easy to do. I don't know. I was really close to having my captain's license. I was like 30 days away from having enough days. Yeah. Uh, Wait, why can't stuck. I turn my passenger belt and safety lights on? That's ridiculous. Guys, I'm just going to I'm gonna put my gear down. Oh, yep. Okay. Ian's putting his gear down, Zach. We're gonna stop with the Ola horse and run. I'm gonna try and land. Let's go land on Mount Everest, boys. You're very far away from Everest. I know. I, I just put on autopilot for a while and I was messing around with the. Uh... Yeah, I just spawned on Zach. No, he's not here. Everest is where everybody is, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, I was he there was for a while. Uh. I'm off your left mm. side. No. Uh, I'm turning in front of you now. No, I don't see. I'm right in front of you. <laughs> Look, Look at me. me. <laughs> Where are you? I forget I'm on camera. Swear to me. Swear to me. That's my favorite uh, college humor. 
It's like, uh, he's testing all the voices, and they're like, hey, that one's pretty good. He goes, you swear? And he goes, yeah, he goes, swear to me! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try leaving the group. And then just Bye. Decide. I'm not even in the group. I know you're not. I'm gonna do a barrel roll. You I just didn't try to do. Huh? What? Huh? Huh? What? Who? Sorry, I think I think I froze again, and I was talking. Hello. Hello. That's all I have to say. Thank you. All right, we're slowing this boy down. Flaps on full. Really gonna blow him up at 300 knots. Gear down. Sorry, what are you doing the heck? Oh, I have a speed break. Only use Wolverine to turn when you're up that high. I'm pretty sure that was an autocorrect, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the, the 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 thing is, I keep I keep accidentally using rudder because my joystick. You twist the joystick to use rudder, but it's easy to twist it. So sometimes when I'm doing a roll and I'm pitching back, I'm accidentally twisting it. What's going on over there? Over speed. Over speed. Uh, I've, I've, well, technically over I've landed speed. on Everest. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Trying to get there. I wonder if that group to the southeast, there's a bunch of people near each other. I wonder if they're all part of a group. Okay, I'm gonna land in the notch between Everest. Landing Yelling at me for overspeed. Go as fast as I want. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I know I'm stalling, but it's gonna be okay. Stall. Not Hitler. Stall. Stall. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. Stall. Okay, Stall. Stall. Oh, that's a heavy landing. <laughs> that's more of a bounce than a landing. Where are you, Will? I did it. I'm on Everest. I'm by uh, Caldra. And EBT Strip. Oh, I see you. Look below you. Below me? Do you see the Singyang boat airport? Yeah, I don't see you guys, though. Oh, I'm. Oh, you're flying away from me. It's also oh. really cloud. I'm just in a cloud. Oh. Do you see Mom Air 46 and V12 <gasps> vantages? We haven't done the hurricane. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do want to do that. Let's, uh, let's do the hurricane. Guys, we got a good stream going here. I really like this. We got everybody on camera. It's good stuff. Yeah, finally. You know what I'm going to try, though? I'm going to try this, folks. I did something a little weird. Uh -oh. So the background of the entire stream that you see in the blank spaces is basically just a blurred copy of our thumbnail for this screen, for this stream. I also have a version where it just takes the gameplay and it puts a blur on it, and that's the background. I'm going to try that, and let's see what happens. Okay. 
add it. The computer to its knees. It probably will. Maybe not. The, the the weird thing is like it works. I think it just looks a little weird. Oh, you know what, guys? We can't we can't do the hurricane. But oh, there's a hurricane off of uh, India. Why can't we do the hurricane? It's well. Will Thank it do? You. Will it do live weather? But you can change the. Let's try yeah, it. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. So live weather, but it's daytime. I think okay. I'm gonna go to Monroe. Maybe. Is that where it is? I'm trying to see where the center is. Maybe. Yeah, if somebody looks up where the where the the hurricane is right now, that would actually be helpful. Zach. Do it. Oh, you know what? I see um, it. I see it. Ian, can you invite me to your group one more time? Yeah, I think it's Shreveport. Gotcha. I got that one. Can you try that for me? Yeah, I sent it. Thank you. I guess I'm just not allowed to join groups. Okay, I did this. I'm gonna do the same jet. I think it was just slow because we were at. Yeah. Although airliners are faster, right? Well, only a little bit. Bigger the faster. Yeah, I'll just do the jet. Because the harder they fall. Okay, and so then I'm. Where are you guys going from? I think, I think Shreveport. Okay. Yeah, that's where I'm popping in. Okay, I'm taking I'm off now. Ready. Move the mouse to the top of the screen during flight to access the. How many box. cats accidentally suffocate themselves with plastic bags? Zero. Well, that's. A I mean, sad thought. cats really like to mess around with bags, don't they? Like every time I put a bag on the floor, this fat cat comes and like sits on it and lays in the bag. I feel like we they suck. probably bite through it. Ugh. Yeah. Because we don't bite through things. It's not our first defense. Marksdale approach Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra is type Cessna okay. C25C, four miles. Oh, it's dark. Downtown. Request flight following. I hate. I, I'm not gonna. I know I, I was right. <laughs> no, you were not right. It was not dark. It was foggy. It was dark! The sun was rising behind the mountain and it was foggy. Ergo, dark. I didn't mean it was nighttime. I meant it was dark. Oh my goodness. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna try and get some altitude and break out of this cloud cover. I'm at 15,000 feet. I, I think I can start to see a little bit of a cloud break ahead of me. Okay, you can break cloud cover at about 20,000 feet. Oh, 
Oh, I see Zach. Oh, yeah. You're a little bit ahead of me. Man, even on, like, low, these clouds look great. Why? My airspeed stopped working. That's so weird. My airspeed stopped working. Weird. I did just change my altimeter. But I'm still climbing. What was that? Was that is it D? Um, mine's a. I don't know what it is for you. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that hurricane, boys. The guy who says stall in this jet sounds like he's telling you what game mode you're playing. Stall. <laughs> stall. Like I loaded into a Call of Duty match. I think uh, Man, Splat I Splattown is asking, I wonder if Harrison Ford would be good at this game. I think it would be great at this game <laughs> because... Yeah. You could land on all the taxiways. Yes. <laughs> Break his ankle. Didn't that time he crashed on the golf course, he crashed into a bunch of doctors? I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I was like, that's really funny. They were gynecologists. Oh, dang. <laughs> looked at him and were like, well... And... Oh, well, it turns out he was pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Really stuck my foot in it now. I'm going up to 45,000 feet. Yeah, I can't get above these clouds yet. I'm at 25. 25,000 you can't get above the clouds? Yeah. Where are you? That's weird. All right, I'm just... Oh, I see you. You're at 24... Oh, yeah, you're in a weird little... Thick boy, Will. I'm going to fly over towards you guys. This plane does not like to climb very well. Select airspeed bug. Shit, get your car. Going to 126 decimal tree, 25 Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Oh, it's starting to get above it. The game's getting chunky. That's how I know. Or center, Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra flight level tree zero. Yeah. ATC keeps telling me I'm supposed to be at a thousand feet. Yeah, he keeps telling me that too. <laughs> Sorry, bud. He's like, you are 20,000 above your required altitude. There we go. Now, now I'm above here. Where are you, Zach? I'm at 33,000 feet. We'll be flying in the sun. Oh, I do see Will. Guys, great news. My airspeed indicator started working again. <laughs> I don't know why Yay. it stopped. I wonder if it froze. It may have. Like it was just showing nothing. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Like you're heading down now? Over speed. I'm Over trying to. Over speed. I'm trying to use autopilot. Over Autopilot's speed. not working. Over speed. So you have to. <laughs> so, like, Control T sets your altimeter. I mean, your altitude. Your, your attitude. And then Z turns it on. I think Control R is to set speed. I 
Should we try to go land at Shreveport? I think it's right below us. I'm going down. I just think it's crazy that... Crazy you can just fly above weather. Oh, yeah. First thing I'm going to do... Oh, Charlie's saying the pilot tube was frozen. I don't know. I don't know what my oh P tot tube. It's the thing on the wing that measures your airspeed. You need to he turn the heater on for it. Oh yeah, right. no, I I understand that. I just don't know where it is. Shreveport is it directly ahead of me at heading three one seven. Okay, Diving. all right. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go too fast if I dive, so I'm just gonna. What's wrong with going too fast? Uh, just give me one second. I'm just going to... I just flipped upside down. <laughs> I'm just going to turn my engines off real quick. Okay. Okay, see, now I can dive at full speed. Seventeen thousand feet. Five hundred and two miles an hour. Or not. Uh, I'm at four ninety. I'm at five thirty and climbing. <laughs> I'm at five. Yeah. I gotta reset my altimeter. I got up to like five forty. Ten thousand. Oh yeah, five forty, five fifty, five sixty. Oh man. Okay, oh, yeah, pulling up. On the ceiling behind the yoke. I was playing right. Got it. Back pull up. I pulled negative up. for me now. Oh, no. No way. Going to Start one, three, five decimal, one Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. FT Worth Center Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra fifteen thousand six hundred feet. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra FT Worth Center continue as planned. Altimeter two nine or decimal four seven. All right. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, that's the ground right there. Found the ground, guys. I found Shreveport. I'm two I miles found away. Old Hickory Ranch. Okay, uh, slight problem. I don't know how to turn my engines back on, so <laughs> give me a second here, folks. Control E. Control Shift E. It's weird. I'm, I'm doing it in the... Uh... Oh, that's the ground. Oh, yeah, it's oh. real close. Oh, I found Shreveport too, Zach. I'm right behind you. I'm just oh. turning my engines off. <laughs> Where's my altimeter? Or uh, my throttle. Yeah, I think maybe I will have to use Control Shifty. I was trying to do it from the. I'm gonna erase the cockpit voice recorder real quick. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't reach over there. Damn it. All right. Coming in, should be Lower highway. Yeah, same. I don't know. I don't think I'm facing the right way. I really don't care. Good. Glad Charlie can't see our screens. Yeah. Flare. Flare. Oh no! Wait, I did turn my Retard. engines back on. Retard. 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 Forget I'm running an Airbus. I landed. Going to one one nine or decimal nine or Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Zach, I'm swimming right behind you. <laughs> Put sideways. Marksdale approach Cessna Alpha you. Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra oh, eleven thousand nine hundred feet. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Marksdale approach. You guys landed at K KSHV? Yep. Yeah. I can't even. Yeah, How far down did you have to get to see the ground? Uh, 2,000 uh, feet. Oh my goodness. I can see you, yeah. Ian. You're descending quite rapidly. I know. Sorry, do you see me? I'm behind you. No, I can't see you. Oh no. There we go. Flying over to me. Oh, I see you over there. Yeah. Over speed. Over speed. Yeah, That's I formation fly now. 
Let's wait till Ian gets here. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Oh, I see the airport now. I can see Ian. He's descending rapidly. <laughs> Ian, can you see us? Over speed. Uh, I'm a little busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me. Over speed. Oh, We're at the airport and you should be looking at the airport. <laughs> yeah, you should see us. Turn Zach, I came in down. so sideways. Really? <laughs> I just bounced off the ground and then aligned. Oh my goodness. I actually landed really well. If I make this, it's going to be... I still can't see the ground. You should shortly. You're at 1800. Yeah. Okay, now I It'll see it. It'll pop in like a mofo. Oh my goodness. Is that the runway down there? <laughs> Don't forget to use your brake. Oh boy. I've got full air brakes on and everything. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing bad, boys. You're, I'm watching the stream that's 10 seconds behind, and you are going uh, wildly too fast. I know, I was like 300, but I was 300 yards too early landing on touchdown. But other than that, you know what? Not bad, honestly. That was pretty good. That was terrifying. Where are you, are you guys on the ground? Yeah, yeah we're, we're directly in front of you. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep taxiing, but I don't think I see you guys. Okay. You guys on the runway? Yeah. We okay. see you slowly coming towards us. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I see you guys. Dang. I see a lot of people. Uh, I just want to check D ice is on the ceiling behind the yoke. Yeah, we're right at this cross runway. On the yeah. ceiling behind the yoke. Oh. On the ceiling or behind the yoke. Oh. Systems, ice control. Oh, I can't click it though. It's kind of fun uh, controlling from the cockpit. Like I, I turned the engines off and then I restarted them from the cockpit, which was pretty awesome. Ice protection. Pit hot. There we go. I turned it on now. Hi. <laughs> Just look up. There's a giant 737 staring me down. Woo. Boys. Is that going to be it for us tonight? I don't know. You guys got other? I'm, I'm fine flying. I'm just not sure what else we got left to do. Yeah, I'm, uh, I know I'm kind of tight tie So if we wrap it up, it's fine with me. Folks, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, let me kick it on over to the full cam. I think we had a real good time tonight. Uh, I think we got better at our landings. I think we got better at crazy altitude control. I think getting to the top of Mount Fuji was actually kind of an accomplishment in climb rate. Um, found some interesting locations, survived a hurricane, found out how to de -heist figured out how to turn my engines off and then back on from the cockpit. A lot of good stuff. Zach, what do you think about tonight's stream? I liked it. I had a lot of fun. I want to do more of it. It's good stuff. Yes. Uh, bye, Caitlin. Bye, Charlie. Thank you guys so much for watching. William, final words for the stream and for life. So, um, you know, use your brakes and flappy flap, but don't Eat your flapjacks. Yeah. Use your brakes, flappy flap, but don't you eat them flapjacks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Ian Gibson. You can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. He's Will Crosby. You can find him on Twitter at Hunt270. He's Zach Crosby. You can find him on Subpixel Things. That's what you prefer now, right? Yeah, I like that. Um, and you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch at subpixel team you can also find us at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our youtube channel where you can find plenty of edited content by spot town edited content such as the uh, video highly controversial video that i put out this last monday called mario plus rabbits is the best XCOM game it's true folks i said it i lay it out it is now fact if you don't believe it or if you're if i piqued your interest somehow 
go watch that video at subpixelfilms.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, our next stream is going to be Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. We're not sure what we're playing yet. Uh, and then Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, we're going to have some more Arma, probably World War II stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for joining. Gentlemen, safe flight. It, what's the, okay, I tried to Google this the other day. Isn't there, like, break a leg for the stage? Isn't there, like, a similar phrase for flying? I keep thinking Clear happy skies. trails. Clear skies. Clear, Clear skies. Clear skies, boys. Safe, safe flight repairs. Safe flight. Replaced. Do you guys ever hear... <laughs>